Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Anna Lynn, and we are the Wilsons on Wheels. We have two adorable children, and not too long ago, we decided to go full-time in our RV. This video is the story of why we decided to go full-time and how we found the perfect RV for our family. So let's go. Yeah, check it out. So usually the first question people ask us when they hear about our new lifestyle is how we even came up with the idea of living in an RV. Uh, as a professional audio engineer, uh, I've been contracted to do all kinds of stuff all over the globe. And um, for a long time, that wasn't a big problem until we had kids. And uh, I'm a huge dad. I love my kids. And uh, I just wanted to be closer to them. I did over 160,000 miles on American in one year. And you were platinum. Platinum. Uh, and anyway, uh, the point is, is, is uh, now I get contracts and the family goes with me wherever I go. The amount of money it would have taken to get me a plane ticket or uh, even the hotels uh, cover the cost of fuel and maintenance and you know propane and the cold and stuff like that. Basically, we were just done doing the balance between being an awesome audio engineer and being an awesome dad. And, you know, none of us enjoyed when he was away at work. It, it was always yeah. sad for all of us. You know, he enjoys his job a lot, but... You know, I've been in tour buses for quite some time uh, on the road with bands and uh, Broadway shows and stuff like that. And uh, I've always wanted to kind of retire in like a Prevost or an MCI, like an older MCI or something. But uh, yeah, one day we're at the gym in a little town, Waxahachie. And I said, hey, uh, what do you think about like selling everything and moving into like a tour bus and just out of the blue yeah we out were literally of the blue, comes up to me i'm doing we're stretching I... we're stretching yeah. side by side and he's just like hey so what about this and honestly i don't know why it just it clicked yeah it, it only took her maybe two minutes and she looked at me she was like yeah why don't we do that yeah why not and i was like Eh, you're messing with me and so I played it off and so she caught up to me she was like no seriously like let's let's think through it and see if it would work That's and really she was like I know that you miss uh, being in buses you know because I've been doing a lot more local work and fly out stuff instead of being in well, buses I mean it's really more of like you having to choose between Family. doing what you love which sometimes requires you being on the road for a while for a yeah. tour or something and being home for that time to see the kids you know develop new you know words that they're learning or you yeah. know it just didn't it didn't make any sense to stay away from the kids and and uh just make the money uh enjoy what i do but you know make the money just to you know be able to come home and see the kids for a little bit and then go out and do it again it didn't make any sense so um that's whenever we started looking for uh rvs we originally started looking at uh big scale like class a's uh diesel pushers because that's what i'm used to uh and you know maybe in in the long run we could do that uh whenever we get older like get a, a couple of slide out prevo or something but uh, to tell you the truth, you know, we were looking at the cost of, of running them and maintaining them and uh, how much it would be to buy one that had enough room for what we needed. And also the, uh, the big kicker, safety. yeah, the safety was the big kicker for me, yeah. uh, learning about um, from YouTube videos from yeah. other like because that's really how we educated ourselves a lot we did the uh, millennial research <laughs> you know strategy where you you know hit the internet and mostly YouTube I mean let's be real that's kind well, that's of the market now uh, that's the you search place. something it takes you to a video that's usually posted about on YouTube but and if you find quite a like a handful that all agree well then there you have your yeah. Your measure, kind of. Um, but yeah, so we looked into it. We learned about the, really, the lack of regulation and whatnot on 
the safety. Classes and whatnot. Um, I mean, RVs in general, I mean, this one's really no safer. Yeah. Um, just you're not riding in it down yeah. the road. And that's that's the big difference. Is Because we have the kids, there's and no they're real place still in to car strap seats. them down. Yeah. yeah, and I did not want to strap them into a dinette on a slide that if we get struck could just... And just come out of the side of the bus, yeah. And basically, we worked our way through all the options, and we were in the 1500 at the time, uh, the the 1500 truck. Oh, yeah, so yeah. we ruled out fifth wheels. Yeah. Um, you know, it was just ticking off each yeah, thing. What we could get into. Not because they did, they don't work. Just they weren't work. They wouldn't work for us. Yeah, right yeah, we now. started looking at travel trailers and stuff, um, bumper pull. Um, we looked at a couple of them online that were kind of far. Uh, we were really we were looking at a, a nice bus out in Florida for a little bit, um, you know, and we, we were backed all out over of the that. Place. Yeah. We were looking online, we were looking in person. Yeah. Uh, Went to a couple of really big lots around here, around Dallas. Just getting familiar with what to look for really yeah. and what sacrifices we were willing to make versus what we absolutely had to have we had to have bunks yeah bunks for the kids showers. was a must have must have to have, have a slide have. so they can have enough room to run around you know things like that um, well and it had to be tall enough to fit mr yeah six foot six right here uh, a lot of travel trailers don't have over six foot clearance inside so it's kind of hard to find one that, that did we actually came uh i think you found the jayco uh the white hawk series I, online it, i saw pictures of this beautiful rig online i found it on i think rvtrader.com yeah um but what really sold me on it was the feature of the windshield. Yeah, the windshield front. is re really rad. Uh, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, well, it's either this one or another one with the windshield because, oh, it just opens up that whole room and you don't feel trapped. as, <laughs> as you know, confined as I felt in a lot of the other... Um, a lot of the other rigs, even the uh, big class A's, yeah. some of the bedrooms, just the window, it, there just wasn't enough window for me. I don't know. Um, I like no, to look outside. <laughs> our, our trailer has a lot of uh, windows. It's got sunlights and, and uh, uh, a yeah, lot of big window you know, right a lot of big. different uh, ways to let light into the building. And that, yeah. <laughs> Annalyn found uh, the Jayco that we wanted online and we contacted uh, it's Texas Toy Cells that had it. Yeah. TX. Uh, TX Toy Cells out of Fort Worth, Texas. And he, and he was like, well, uh, if you want to pick it up, it'll be uh, at auction this Friday. And I said, no, 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 I want to come and see it. And we're really interested in buying it from you. And he was like, well, cool. Well, it's it's on Friday there. and uh, I can meet you there. I said, no, 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 I want to come today. I, we were sitting outside. The we were already we sitting were like, there, like no. looking at it. Um, let's, let's go. Let's go look at it. And so, uh, <laughs> we're serious. We're, we're very serious. Really serious. And so he met us over there and we looked at it and I mean, it's, it was just perfect for what we needed, uh, from top to bottom. Um, and he put it through a little shop down the road from where he's at um, and put the airbags under it and uh, went and picked it up and uh, pulled it to our uh, old house in Red Oak mm -hmm. uh, where we started selling everything. Um, Moving in what we were keeping, mm -hmm. boxing up what we were taking. Had a huge, hard, uh, huge garage yard sale. And then sold off the rest. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned for the next one coming soon where we talk about getting this rig ready to roll. Please like, subscribe, and come back to watch later videos. You can follow us here, here, here for more, or you can also follow us on Patreon. Here. Huge thanks to our new patrons. These people. Over on Patreon.com. You too can send us a dollar to show your support if you want to. Yeah. Totally optional, but totally cool. <laughs>